Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. My name is Raisin Brand. So, last episode, we pretty much finished what was Chapter 5. We pretty much finished everything that Chapter 5 was. We killed a lot of Pinkerton Detective agents, which was great, but not Mr. Milton. So I'm still kind of skeptical about that. We did learn that John Marston is still alive to this day he's still alive and we have to go all the way down here where he is being held we have to go all the way down there and meet up with sadie adler mrs adler we're gonna meet up with her do some good stuff there and basically go and save the day Basically, go save John from uh, prison and all that good stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much like what we're going to start off on this episode. Because we're just going to get chapter 6 underway, pretty much. We're just going to get this chapter going and see what we have to do. Because again, this is the final chapter of the main story. Now, there is an epilogue to it so it won't be entirely over after chapter six here but pretty much i feel like when chapter six is finished with this game i'm going to be taking a little bit of a break from this game because i have been playing this game and this series for quite some time since june it has been a really long time since i have played this series i'm gonna take a bit of a break from playing this game explore some other games sounds like a you problem that's all i'm gonna say um i don't want to hear it sounds like a you problem Just sounds like a you problem so yeah, because again, I've been playing this game for quite some time, and once Chapter 6 is officially over, I'm going to just take a break from this game and move on to other projects. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm going to just not play the epilogue. I'm going to play the epilogue. I just want to take a break, and we'll come back to the epilogue, and we'll do its own like little shebang with the epilogue, maybe in a live stream. Who knows? I'm trying new things, so we'll just absolutely see what it will look like in the near future. So, with that being said, hope I got you all surprised maybe a little bit of what I'm going to be doing in the near future. Ooh. Got to let my horse recover. Jeez. Almost there. Almost there. your husband, but it's gonna be, well, it's gonna be violent. Right. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Taylor what? She ain't coming with us to collect your husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there, you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why ain't the crime sort? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. Got you, Abigail. All right. Here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Yep. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot to look for John. This time of day. Prisoners probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Yep. How many times, Marston? <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, as we saw in the last episode, he was happily about working himself in the fields and everything. And all that good stuff. So we're basically just gonna do a nice little simple uh, escaping and all that such. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Got it. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice and easy. Very nice. Alright. Ooh, you want me to get this? Alright. Where's Jill? Alright. Where he at? Where is he at? Yeah, probably not the best idea to be using a sniper rifle to look for your uh, for your friends and all that stuff. Uh, where are my binoculars? Uh, here we go. Alrighty. Let's see. Oh. I think I see him. Yeah. In front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out and let's go get our boy. Okay. Alright. You want me to use. I'm gonna. I'll use a sniper. Well, might as well go investigate and just see if it was John. Alright, come on. I just don't want anything to happen to John. I like John Marston, and I like Mrs. Adler here. I just don't want anything to happen. No. You, Mr. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marsden? She ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything and I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Nope. Come on, partner. <clears throat> now, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? <laughs> apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Aston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's Ooh. quite an exciting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're, they're not going to let you do this. Well, that's going to be up to you, my friend. <laughs> oh, this is just so pleasant. I love this. Come on, buddy. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. I guess so. I guess we will find out. True. Hold your fire! <laughs> Damn! Okay, fam, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn gun! 
This should be interesting. Jameson! Is Jameson there? He's insulting me. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sorry. very funny. You know, we must be 11, <laughs> 11, 12, 13, faster. 14, 15, 16, <laughs> Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. Number one. For nothing. Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know. I know. Hey. Hey. John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Let's clear these and make a run for it! Oh, you want to clear them out? Oh, okay. Just die. Thank you. Alright, let's go. So well. Okay. God damn. Jesus, I might as well get my shotgun out at that point. God. What? Oh, come on. Oh my god, seriously, what is making this so difficult? I just don't understand. Oh! Oh, okay. Damn it! God! Why 
my inflamed tarnation is oh my god. Jesus. Come on, I am not dying today. Thank you. Good God. Oh, that took longer than I wanted it to. Some fellas coming here don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. Turn that point around or we will gun you down. Can't do that, fellas. Colleen. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. They're going to be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Uh, hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. Yeah! So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real. Oh, somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. Yep. And then we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but <laughs> things ain't been good, John. Yeah. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Grids, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. <clears throat> yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus, maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, mm -hmm. when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Hey. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. <laughs> yes, not. Hilarious observation. Huh. <sighs> Here. 
Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I have a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. In my opinion, Dutch needs to get over it. He just needs to get over it. He really does. He just really needs to get over it. Thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Yes. Thanks, Mary Beth. Thanks. Alrighty. Yeah. I'll, I guess I'll make my way to Annisburg. Oh, of course. Oh, we ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems to have lost his mind. I know. Yep. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I have you as a friend. Oh, well, I appreciate it. Appreciate it, Abigail. Really, truly appreciate it. All right. Hey, boy. Hey. All right. Let me just go ahead and mark where we need to go on the map. Boink. Let's go and make our way there. Yeah, that to yeah that that quest could have been done sooner as opposed to later for me, but no. Me and my dumb self, not knowing how to shoot, got me killed multiple times. Oh my god. Jesus, I need cover. Fucking pervert! There we go. Hold on, there's still one more. It ain't over until it ain't over, until it's over. You're telling me, dude. Oh my god. Like, seriously. Can't I just get on my way? Thanks. God. Fucking bitches. I'm just trying to make it to my next destination, and you have to come out here blazing everything on fire in your path and then trying to kill me. 
stupid idiots. All right. Let's. Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <coughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I ain't shot you, eh? I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in San Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Trail. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid. Fans mission, Dutch. It ain't worth Don't it. be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> <sighs> I'm very skeptical about this. All of this. So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason. That Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, it's his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs. You can't rap, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. Yeah, I was will, gonna say. Son, it will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. I am very skeptical about this. Oh yeah, Dutch, did you know that I have tuberculosis? I hope you realize I have tuberculosis and I could infect you if I really want to do. I really could if I really want to do. Beautiful. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency. Oh, they're all here. Still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall, I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Along, Mr. Ross, we have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement, and I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give 
two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! Noise, Arthur! Noise! No fucking way! God damn, he just killed straight up. Jesus Christ. This is not good. Like, what kind of idiotic nonsense did you decide to do that for? I can see that. Jesus Christ. Well, Mr. Cornwall, person that we've been trying to go after is now dead. Jesus Christ. I think he's dead, dude. Jesus. Well, it 
least we tried talking it out. Boys, have lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right! Jesus Christ. Damn it. On the left, floor the bastard. Ah! Ah! They're trying to cut us off again. Go left, lose them through the river. Jesus. Y'all have lost your mind. Whoa. We all okay? Interesting social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew. Sooner or later, Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company they signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It has, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Jesus. That was not how I was expecting things to go. But yet, here we are. Here we are. Jesus Christ. Hi, buddy. Let's figure out where we need to get going next. Okay, it looks like Reverend Swanson is available for us. And then there's freaking Micah. Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna do Reverend Swanson first, because that seems like that's the closest. Yep. And then we can go from there and do what it is that we need to do. Oh my god. Again, was not expecting that to be the outcome of that quest. Jesus Christ. I have a feeling Dutch and Micah are going to do something rash. And it's not going to be pretty. Reverend, you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. 
These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt. I've left the morphine, sir. Oh, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. <sighs> then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea. Dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke. A whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. You need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, fine. Pardon me for interrupting. Hello. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Fly. Oh, yeah. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we uh, pretended to be mercenaries. He did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderland. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people. We've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Oh. We must go with them. Try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get the more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Mm. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No. You're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Uh huh. Tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure in persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. I'm just, again, very skeptical about Why are you all of this. this Save fellers as need saving, feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then 
we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. I seriously don't. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. Okay. All right. Let's head out. The best plan is to paddle up there silently, order. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. All right, whatever you say. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. I don't know how you want me to do this. Is that a ladder? Yes. I don't know what my objective was <laughs> of doing that. I thought I wasn't supposed to kill them, but I guess we're killing them. Bam.
It's okay, buddies. It's okay, it's okay. Almost there. There you go. Attaboy. Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh. Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Oh, Sadie, boy. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Cone's dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. My father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, Jeff. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rageful. Yes. Would you? Yes. Sure. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. Jesus. All right. Come on now, boy. All right. Well, there seems to be three now. Micah's closest. We have to go all the way back to San Denis. And look at all of this. Red. Jesus Christ. It's so bad. It's so, so bad. We're going to do Micah's first, because that's closest. And then after that, we will do uh, this quest, apparently, with Sandini, where apparently Como Driscoll is uh, nearby. So, Dutch is absolutely losing it, and it's making me nervous. Like, insanely nervous. I don't like it. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because it seems to me. Since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. She's wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... 
<laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I, don't I agree. Dutch cares too much. What you think? That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> Let's go. Come on, pal. <sighs> Have fun, boy. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. A pair of them are becoming unhinged. I know. Did you hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a sec. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. Anyway, you say it. Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. All right. So, wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of you. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. <laughs> oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Alrighty. Alrighty. Jesus. Hold up. Just give me a sec. I gotta aim. does.
Well, damn you. Oh! Of course I'm wanted. For vehicle theft. Of course! Just of course. Aren't I always wanted for something? What do you think I'm doing, honeybee? Exactly. speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seeing eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. I don't like that one bit. I really don't like that one bit. I really don't like that one bit. Hey, buddy. Such a good boy coming to me. Yes, yeah, time to go. Which quest? Because I'm going to do one more in this episode. Which is closer? Shockingly, rain, rain's fall is closer. So let's do that. Yep. Yep. Shocking that this quest is closer. So, this will be the last quest that I do for this episode, and then pretty much we will go from there with this game. Oh my gosh. This is truly... It's just a lot going on. Like, the fact that Dutch and Micah are, like, co-captains and, like, leading this charge or whatever. No. Stop. I just don't want to see people getting hurt because Dutch is doing something with Micah of all people to be plotting with. I'm just not a big fan of it. 
I'm really not. Hey, that's a nice looking horse you have there. Don't, don't. I don't care. Do you think I give a shit? I've got places to be, honey. I don't give a shit. Exactly. No harm in asking. Don't talk to me. Just don't talk to me. This is very nice. Very nice little setup. Alright, let's go speak. And see where our lovely friend is. Why why you gotta jump on the rock like that, Morgan? Come on. Here we go. Come in. Sound very well. No. I'm not. I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Jesus. I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm, I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, I ain't never seen much glory in it. Yep. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. Oh, he sure does. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. Sure. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <laughs> maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection. Okay. And healing. I'm so down. Yeah. Passing you. Okay, sir. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. 
Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Okay. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Jeez. Good. There was no need to harm them. Yeah, well, they were looking like they wanted a fight. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, I ain't exactly sure why I'm here. I guess our situations have become tangled. You mean with my son? Yes. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, Are you okay, Mr. Morgan? Easy! I'm really not. You know something of Dutch, I think? A little. Mostly from your friend, Charles. I don't know why he's getting involved with Eagle Flies. With the two of them together, it's gonna be a problem. So what are you suggesting we do? The two of them are headed for... Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Okay. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is very beautiful. Nice background. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. Now, as I was saying, the two of them were headed for Fort Wallace when I last saw them. I'll head over there. See if I can keep things from boiling over. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Morgan, you got no reason to thank me yet. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed him. And shot him dead. And offered ten dollars. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain, I guess. Jesus. I had to wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. I'm following you. This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It 
taste awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. Thank you. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Anyway, you were saying... I had... The... I don't know. I ain't been a good man. At least you understand something of your anger. I understand that you can't be a bad man and expect good things to happen to you. Yeah, I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. I'll work something out. If I get enough money together, I can always head out west to one of those sanatoriums in California. I still got some options. Well, I wish you all the best. Easy. Yeah. Why, well, I appreciate it. Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. All right, let me see if I can. I see no end to any of this. Have a look at this. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. Want me to keep looking? Seems to be something here. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. I do. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. 
Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. <sighs> we got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. You want to deal with them? No, my people are going to want a war. Because if you're looking... If you... As I was going to say, we can just... Yes. Because how rude... Oh, we're going to have some fun. I don't think so. No. Let's just get this. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, come on. Yep. Yep. I know it wasn't pretty, but I don't know. But dealt with. I found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. 
Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Yep. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Right. Jesus. Alright, well, with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end this episode right here. So, with that, again, being said, thank you so much for watching this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Please feel free to leave a like if you liked what you saw. Feel free to ring those bells. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. There's a lot more things that we need to do between now and... Basically, the rest of, uh, of this chapter, pretty much. Seems like we've got some stuff with uh, Captain Monroe, because we said we would help out with the situation there. We've got to do stuff with John Marston. And then, of course, we got to make our way back to San Denis and figure out what it is they need help with and all of that good stuff there. So... With that being said, as for right now, this has been Raisin Brand. Thank you so much once again for watching this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I shall see you in the next video.